you know, I compare the Christian life to like you're a house that you're inviting Jesus into to come take up residence in your home. And, and when he comes in, man, you start to look at your home in a different way. Uh, a couple, I don't know, a couple months ago, we had Matt and Tammy, Pastor Matt, over to our house. And my wife, you know, from the kitchen said, hey, you know, Matt and Tammy will be here in 30 minutes. I'm like, oh, okay, great. And I went back to my living room and all of a sudden, something w really strange started to happen in my brain, okay? I start looking around our living room. And, and, and now I, I almost have a whole new critical way that I look at our living room. I'm thinking, Pastor Matt's coming over, you know? And I start, and there's a stack of uh, these cartoon Bible DVDs our kids watch, and there's like SpongeBob SquarePants on the top. And I remember going, I'm just gonna put SpongeBob under the Bible DVDs, you know? <laughs> Nobody's looking. Maybe I'm just, because we watch him, you know, he won't care. I'm just put and then I start going through my, I'm like, what if he goes in the office? You know, what if he wants a tour? It doesn't take long to take a tour of our house, you know? So I'm like, and, I, and mentally I start going through our house and I'm like, Pastor Matt's coming over. Listen, and I know none of you would do that, right? <laughs> just me. Um, when we start to listen to God's spirit, basically he's saying, I'm coming in and I wanna take a flashlight into every room. I wanna take a flashlight into every closet, every drawer, every file folder. And for me, we were going, man, have I kept my oath even when it hurts? Have I kept my oath even when it hurts? And I'm going closet to closet on that flight, just thinking, man, clean. You know, let's shine the light in here. And I get to one closet, and as soon as I cracked it, I went, no, oh, we'll keep going. And the Holy Spirit is like, wait, wait, wait a minute. What, what about that room? And I'm like, oh, no, man, we... We shined light on that two years ago. Then nobody wants, you know, we don't need to deal with that. We'll just keep going. In fact, I'll just change my sermon. You know, I'll just, we'll just erase that out. Nobody wants to hear about that. And the Holy Spirit's like, no, I think we need to open that door up, man. Let's, let's open that door back up. Let's, let's shine the light back on that. And, um, man, I had to get real with self, you know. And the bigger issue, I think, for me was, am I going to leave that door locked? That was the scarier thing because the Holy Spirit's like, are you sure you want to build a habit of having a locked closet in your heart? 